Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where you have 60 seconds to talk about whatever I want. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. For those of us that love sports, we obsess about it. Winning, that's all that matters. But once in a while, life gets in the way, and it reminds you sports isn't that important. This is Toronto Maple Leafs forward Rodion Amirov, one of the Leafs' top prospects, taken 15th overall in the 2020 draft. A bright future ahead of him. However, that future was put into doubt when, at the age of 20, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Leafs announced it this week. According to GM Kyle Dubas, Amirov from Russia is in good spirits. He's skating three times per week, plus working out every day while getting treatment. In an interview with Sportsnet's Elliot Friedman, Amirov said, quote, I want to stay positive. I want people to think positively of me, end quote. In sports, and I've been doing sports a long time, you get lost in the winning and the losing. However, I am certain everyone is hoping for the best outcome in this battle with Amirov. Get well soon, young man. God bless you and the family, no doubt. Luke Fox of Sportsnet is joining us. Luke, appreciate you this morning. Uh, there's probably a lot of people watching who, who don't know kind of how highly the organization rates this young man uh, hockey-wise. Fill us in. Well, let me just tell you, Sid, af after the Leafs lost in, in Columbus uh, in overtime, uh, the news was broken to the whole team. And immediately, John Tavares said they forgot all about the loss. And all they could think about was this young man, 20 years old. Tavares said now that he's a father, it hits even a little harder, um, the struggle that this guy's going through. So the Leafs yesterday morning pulled everyone together at the morning skate, filmed a, a message uh, for him to, to continue the fight and wish him well. And I think that meant a lot to, to Rodion. Um, and every single player was just talking about uh, how heartbreaking it is just because of the skill set this young man has and how highly, uh, how highly sought he is and, and how he could be a, a member of the team one day. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're rallying around him, they're sending him messages, and you can only hope for the best. And I think what's most positive is his attitude in particular, the fact that he believes he can beat it. Um, so fans have rallied around to Rodian Strong is a hashtag that's going on. And um, also he's in, fans are encouraged to send him messages. There's an email address out there. And Luke, I mean, I mean, this is pure speculation on my part, but I was wondering about the timing of it. Um, and then I realized, you know, we have a trade deadline about a month away here now, less than a month away. I'm assuming a lot of teams were probably calling about this young man. I'm not saying the Leafs were, were going to do anything, but I, th I think part of this announcement was basically to the league saying, listen, you, you need to know something about his situation. Yeah, well, Kyle Dubas was asked about him recently and kind of said there was an announcement coming. And I think they just wanted to get all their ducks in a row, For make sure, sure the family was okay with it, the agent was okay with it. I think that played into it. But you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the way where the Leafs are positioned, they're in win-now mode. So prospects are on the table, draft picks are on, are on the table. Uh, yeah, he, he would be a guy that people would be interested in. But definitely there was no sense that the Leafs were ready to move on from the kid. I think For they sure. were excited to, de to develop him and make him a future part of the team. Absolutely. And, uh, and, 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 you know, fingers crossed for all of us, we expect that to happen again. An incredible story. But uh, the Leafs were, were an open book. And the, uh, the interview with Elliot Friedman, um, listen, Luke Fox's stuff on sportsnet.ca, outstanding. Elliot Friedman's with uh, Rodion, also outstanding. I, I suggest you see both of those things. Go to sportsnet.ca. Uh, and by the way, at least win last night, <laughs> Austin Matthews. Yeah. Too. But again, more important things is kind of the theme of this. And we appreciate Luke Fox, uh, one of the best in the business, covers the Leafs every day from Sportsnet joining us today. Luke, have a great weekend, sir. Appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Have a good one, Sid. Take care.